I'm Eric D'Amato. Who that? Who's there? It's me. It's Matt. And you should. I, I would have done who dare, who dat. It's me. It's Matt. Would have worked better to work with the with the rhythm and the rhyme scheme there. I look. I lost. I lost it halfway through. Okay. I thought I knew what I was doing, and then I didn't. All right. We got a movie for you today. Ooh, a movie. You An- don't say. Another curse movie. Fuck. We have not had good a good track record with the series. Um, Curse One was really good. Yes. And then we had a movie with the with snakes, and his arm was a snake, and his tongue was a snake, and radioactive snakes, and I don't quite understand what Curse 2 The Bite even really was about, but we watched that, I, I think. I mean, I definitely remember scenes of a man turning into a snake. Or at least his arm turned into a snake. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, Curse 3. <laughs> Yay! I'm Curse Three: Blood Sacrifice from 1991. <laughs> Blood sacrifice in nineteen 19- in 1950s Africa. A tribal magician calls up a demon to kill Europeans. <laughs> Three point nine. Oh, is that the is that the lowest rating score I've had? No, I doubt no? it. Okay, at least recently, that's one of the lowest we've had. Oof, at least Curse 2 points. got 4.8. It did? Yeah. The Curse 1 get? 5.1. Oof. There's a Curse 4. Oh, oh no. Hey, Curse 4 gets 4.6. Oh, okay, maybe there's a little bit of hope. I mean, there's a movie called Witch Trap. <laughs> we'll look into that. It Lives Again. Mutant monster babies. <laughs> All right, yeah, you got my attention. That's a that's a title that really like sinks you in, you know. The barge people. Wow, that's a, that's a name. Wait, was the was the whole synopsis really just man summons demon to kill Europeans? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Writers: Richard Hayden Haynes, original story. John Hunt screenplay. And it stars drum roll please. Hang on. Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee's in this? Christopher Lee is in fact in this movie. The news is so shocking the police are starting to drive around <laughs> my city. Anyway. My my town. Let us watch Blood Sacrifice. Three. Can't wait. In an ancient and enchanted land, ritual and reason are about to collide. You stop the ceremony. You can't just trample over thousands of years of tradition. It will cause trouble. Hey! He's evil, isn't he? I thought Nyongas were supposed to be good people. A powerful family. Hang on here. They've already touched it. It's the Inyanga. They say it's a bad omen. A mysterious doctor. This is a ceremonial witch doctor's stick. Made in honor of Umoya Omube. A curse that can only be paid back. We must leave. Come. In blood. If you don't believe me, you are going to die too. When the Nyanga is in a trance, he can trap anyone he wishes to take revenge on. There's nothing to be afraid of, Elizabeth. Then perhaps you'd like to explain the blood on your vest, Doctor. And now, between the unthinkable... You killed him! The drums beat, beat. And the unstoppable. What do you want? The wind begins to blow. The mystery. The storm rises. And the madness. Ah! When it reaches its peak, lies murder. <laughs> or worse. Christopher Lee. Jenny Lee Harrison, Curse 3, Blood Sacrifice. 
Oh, wow, that was a dull film. <laughs> I have, I shit you not, watched paint dry, and I think I found that sometimes more entertaining. <laughs> this was so boring and so oddly paced that I thought the movie was over an hour in. Yeah. Yeah. It was that bad. Like, ugh. I I like when I was watching it, I like I like zoned out for like at what I thought was only ten minutes, and then when I like kind of came back to, nothing was still happening, and I I kind of hated that, and I checked the timestamp, and like thirty minutes had passed, and I went, oh god no. Um, it's worth noting that the actual title of this movie is not Curse Three or Blood <laughs> Sacrifice. It's when is it ever? Punga. Ponga. Ponga. Oh boy. This is a strange film. We open with a kid who is killed with a machete in Africa. We're in Africa. Yes, we are in we are in Africa. East Africa, I believe. For the rain down in Africa. <laughs> We've had like a little steel drum. I've really like saying Africa is kind of vague as a setting because you know that's not a country, that's an entire effing continent. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big one. And it, too. And, yeah, and it's not like just saying, oh, we're in East Africa is any better because it's still a fucking continent, just you're on the eastern part of it. It's not like it's set. I think if they had set any specific country for this movie, that country would have sued the movie. <laughs> There's. Oh, that's an interesting... Why is there a limited edition MGM collection for Panga? When you say collection, like, do you mean, like, movie collection? As in, like, there's more than one movie yeah, in that I, collection? Yeah, I think it just gets put in a different... In a pack of movies. It's one... It seems like... It seems like one of those movies. The, the kind you'd get on a four horror movies or ten horror movies thing. One of the, the, no. the movie they can't sell otherwise. Yeah, like like you see the you see the ten DVD pack and you're like, oh my god, this has like one of my favorite horror movies. Oh, but there's like nine shitty ones in this. But the, it's the only cover five for bucks. Punga is really really bizarre because there's a witch doctor, not the same witch doctor from this movie, with an oni. Oh. Ma- he's wearing an oni mask and shooting eye lasers. <laughs> okay, hold on, looking looking this up now. Because <laughs> not that not that 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 they're just. Piqued my curiosity. I need, what, the I need words to eye lasers? Yes. So, the kid gets killed by the witch doctor. He sure does. And the witch doctor tells tells um, tells the kid's mom that his that her kid is dead. It's, uh, he, you have to mourn now. And it's subtitled. And it's worth noting that this is the only time where they're speaking African and it's subtitled. The rest of the movie... You're on your own. <laughs> I was gonna, I wasn't crazy, right? No. That was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't just like make that up. I thought I imagined the subtitles for a second. Then we get the title, Panga, and then Panga. we find out it's the fifties, and our main characters are white people. Who own a farm and a plantation in Africa in the fifties, and immediately it's kind of impossible to feel any <laughs> actual sympathy for the main characters just, because just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. The slaves don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> my condolences. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, it's kind of hard to like call these characters likable anyway, even if. Uh, the circumstances weren't the, the circumstances that we are currently in. So there, there's this woman from America who talks, who tells people she's American like it matters. <laughs> so, <I> just, <laughs> this makes me laugh because it's true. I, I know that it's something ahead of it, but when she gets in the argument with the Nyanga, she's like, I'm American. And I know, it reminds me of Dead Alive when the guy shows the, the tribesman the permit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or she just reminds me of Willie from Temple of Doom. 
<laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, okay. Screaming, I'm an American, while being swung around by an elephant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this movie, uh... Oh, uh, is she the only American in the film? Yeah, eh? mm. The rest are, uh, everyone else is British. Yeah. Or, well, African. Yeah, of course. So they, they've come up to take over the family farm... The police yeah. are not happy about this. No, <laughs> they, they heard that and they were like, right, we're, coming, we're coming to arrest you. I don't know if that'll pick up once we do the noise reduction. And she's um, she's boring. talking to her husband about the other couple whose names I can't... I can't remember anyone's names in this movie. Nor should you. I to, remember to be completely the, honest. The, main, the main black character, Maletch's name, because it specifically says in the opening credits with th- such a person as Maletch. <laughs> and she, she's talking to her husband that she doesn't trust Malech. Something's different about him. Which this goes absolutely nowhere, by the way. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, maybe only one thing near the end, but even then, it's stupid anyway. No matter. Um. He, he he's done nothing wrong, might I add. <laughs> no, he's just acting weird. He's just strange. And the. The husband is like, ah, I've I've known him since I was a kid. He's cool. We're cool. (laughs) Sure, dude. And Jeff, is his name Jeff Armstrong? Who is Jeff Armstrong? Uh, I don't know who any... Elizabeth... uh, Our main character is Elizabeth Armstrong, played by Jenny Jenny Lee Harrison. Yeah. Uh, And then there's Cindy and Robert, and they're just there to die. Yeah, they are there to do the cliche horror movie thingy. Which they, is, you know. They decide to tour around one of the villages, and they go to one of the villages where a witch doctor is sacrificing a goat, and uh, Elizabeth's like, no, you can't do that, and she steal, and she takes the goat. <laughs> and the witch doc uh, and the witch doctor curses her for that which you know understandable i guess and at no point during what's happening does anyone decide hey maybe we should just give back the goat no even like before they take the goat right like uh Malich, or I already pronounce his name Malech. Malech. he uh he tells them Hey, get, yeah, don't get, don't interfere. Like, just let them do their thing. Hey, give give back the goat. Apologize and give back the goat. Do they apologize? No, and do they give they back don't. the goat? No, of course they don't. They're white people. Malach is played by Henry Sele. Yeah. Who has been in? Seems nothing I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, nothing. It's really. He's played. Seems to have played Shaka Zulu a lot. Huh. He's played in two movies. Look at that. Oh, he's in The Last Samurai. I got very confused because it said he was in Killer Instinct. And I'm like... I know it's not the video game, but what are you on about? Ah, uh, Rareware. Ah, uh, God bless. What's oh, your favorite rare, Rareware video game? Uh... Well, I mean, I guess... Like, my favorite game ever is, like, Donkey Kong Country 2, so I mm. guess that's my favorite rare game. But Killer Instinct is, like, also up there. That game is so fun. Perfect Dark, I think. Perfect Dark is also top five contender, but only because when we played together that one time. Mm. I never played Perfect Dark before that. Also, Conquer's Bad for a Day is just... Also on my list. It's I, a classic. I, prom- it... I promise I'll get there soon. It's a musical. <laughs> oh, I'm well aware of the musical part, don't worry. It's kind of hard to be growing up in the whole hmm. video game sphere and not hear the great mighty poo. So they, they, they steal the goat. Let's, let's, let's not beat around the bush. This is theft. Yeah, you know, they, they this... have walked up and just taken this goat away. Because this is the village's goat. It probably belongs to someone in the village. This is stealing. Yeah, now, now look... The movie portrays it as, oh, but they were going to kill the goat. To which I say, yeah, yeah that's a, but... <laughs> but it's a goat. And that's what, presumably, if in a village 
a, an agricultural village, uh, there is a goat. At some point, that goat's going to be food. Yes. <laughs> That's why, Otherwise, why would you keep the goat? <laughs> and it's not like it's probably their only goat. It's still it's probably their goat. Yeah, it's still their goat. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they they steal goat. Um, uh, the cur- um, she asks Malech what the witch doctor said, and he said, he said you um, he said you had a child. Oh well, yeah, I, I am pregnant. How do you know? No, 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 no. You don't understand. He said you had a child. And then she starts freaking out. Like, rough, you know, rightly so. Yeah. Rightly so. I'll give her that one. I mean, you should have stole the goat. But, yeah, and is that when like her stomach pains start kicking in? Yeah, yeah. And then the movie just gets weird from there. They um they then we get Christopher Lee as the local doctor. Yeah, remember Christopher Lee's in this movie. Yeah, he, I I was getting really really bored of no. He plays Doctor Pearson, and he looks exactly like he would in Attack of the Clones. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I, <laughs> he, does, he does. Except he's wearing a white suit, so he looks like if Saruman somehow survived into the modern era. Look, I'm just saying, if he, like, shaved a lot of, his, like, the mutton chops part of his beard, you thought he was Colonel Sanders for a quick second. Yes, I will admit, I thought he was... It's like, wait, why is Christopher Lee playing Colonel Sanders? This dude walks in, white suit, like, black tie, <laughs> a little, 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 like, pocket... Pocket handkerchief was great. I will, ass- I will assist your medical condition with my secret blend of eleven herbs and spices. spices. <laughs> <laughs> but he come, he comes to like basically check on our poor main protagonist over here, who stole a goat. Who stole a goat? And they're not I... even doing anything with the goat. The jo- goat's now just kind of not in the movie anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like, uh, he just kind of takes him and walks off with the goat and we never see it again. Yeah, they just have a okay. goat now. <laughs> they just, just have a goat Just now. insert that scene with Mabel. Uh, I don't know. I have a lobster now. <laughs> uh, did they ever really say what happened to, like, her, like, the whole stomach problem no, thing? No, like, of course Did they... he ever... Yeah, I was say, did he ever give a reason as to what the hell happened to her? No, it's... Is the whole pregnancy thing even brought up again? No. Fuck this movie. I know. Like I said, this is where I started to zone out. And then, like, I'm still kind of paying attention, right? I thought Christopher That's Lee picked a up a lightsaber. Yeah, he, he, um, he finds this, like, African voodoo stick. It's, uh, it's related to some kind of ceremony involving uh, the vengeful spirit who lives in the sea. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. The vengeful spirit who lives in the sea. There we go. Yeah. Definitely won't be important for later. Let me tell you. <laughs> Was it, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was anything? I, I know why the line was there, but I still don't know why the line was there. You know what I mean? And he take, he asks if he can look at the stick because he collects stuff like this. He wants to do a sketch of it. And he describes the ceremony, and then nothing. I don't happens. know. It's Colonel. Sa- it, it, it's Saruma. It, it's it's Christopher Lee dressed in white with a beard, holding a black staff. It's he's. <laughs> it's just, just made me want to turn off the movie and go watch Lord of the Rings again. Yes, I, Lord of the Rings is ten hours. I know, but I still. It's it's more interesting. Yeah, I say at least we get something with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord this of the Rings one, is fantastic. Yeah. In this one, the only thing that follows after is he leaves, he he remarks on the goat, and then we get the... He gives the stick he, he gives the stick to the to the Nyanga? I think so. Well I don't, he shows the I, stick to the Nyanga and, and Yeah, I think he takes it back. He and the Nyanga seem actually pretty chill. Like probably because yeah. you know he shows up and doesn't steal the goat. <laughs> yeah, and like, you know, probably helps them when they're ill. Yeah, it's like, you're not gonna... presumably. I mean, he knows about the culture. He can speak the language, not subtitled, obviously. We're, we're lost. But... <laughs> yeah, thanks, movie. Just it's it's almost as if you don't uh, if you don't s- s- trod all over the tribe's beliefs, they won't curse you. Crazy thought, <laughs> I know. 
Uh, we get, so we get. Uh, we're he supposed leaves. to be on their side, but it's so hard to no. be because they're yeah. so in the wrong. Uh, there's a scene on the beach where the two kids, whose names I don't remember, nor do we care, have they're they're, they're doing horror movie sex on yeah, the beach. They're, they're doing the thing that you should never do in a horror movie. <laughs> and they're in a tent, died. and he goes off, puts mud on seaweed on his head, and chases her with a machete as a joke because that's how comedy works i suppose <laughs> funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then i don't know uh our 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 other main protagonist what the hell is his name uh Malech? no 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 jeff like i think it's jeff armstrong or oh, robert yeah, no robert jeff armstrong. he goes to the the sugarcane field to talk with Malech. yeah about like what's basically been going on, and Lech is like, "Look, there's a Nyanga, some... and I think he might be evil now." Yeah, like, look, some evil shit's about to go down. A storms are coming. Send everyone home. We promise we'll come back to work tomorrow. And he's like, "Yeah, okay." They um... Which, like, I think is the most reasonable thing he does the entire movie. Yep. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, it, like I, I know, like it's it's kind of a thing to say because you know they stole the goat and everything, but Robert is kind of like the only. Uh, I don't want to say chill, but like he's level-minded most of the well, film. Well, him and Christopher Lee. Yeah, he like he—he's not—he's not a bad guy. He's just there. Mm-hmm. And of course, Malech. Even though the movie wants us to briefly think Malech is evil. Sure. Yeah, Malech is just the the. I mean, he's the he's a talking guy, right? Like he's the he's he's the one who's trying to tell all these people, uh, hey, you guys are fucking up here. Please stop. <laughs> Uh, and hey, you know things Elizabeth don't stop. Goes to visit some British people. This old woman and her—is that his mom? It's someone's aunt. It. The, aunt, she's a yeah. Ste- her name's Althea Steed. <laughs> I don't she, know. And she, she she's cool though. She, she cool. has a, she has a granddaughter called Chloe, or she could be Chloe and the granddaughter's Althea. I don't know. I it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth doesn't goes matter. over. She brings some chocolate chip cookies, and. I'm pretty sure they have chocolate chip cookies in England, so I don't know why this is such a, a mistrustful thing. Why they're so like, well, I don't know what this is. Um, the know. the little girl takes two and gives one to her dog. So apparently the dog's dead now because dogs can't eat chocolate. You stupid child. Uh, well, I mean, the dog's gonna definitely not be alive after. But I was disappointed. I thought the dog was gonna like get possessed. Get, get a little Cujo action going on. No, that would have made the movie... What's the word? Interesting. Mm. Even though it's a, it is a gross misunderstanding of Cujo that people think the dog's possessed. No, isn't the dog just... No, it just gets rabies. Yeah, it just, it just fucking <laughs> rapified dog that kills people. Yeah, it's one, of the, it's one of the scarier Stephen Kings because everything in it is actually possible. Yeah, I can't watch Cujo. It's like, like Misery. It just... Oh, Misery is... Ooh. Ooh. It's my favorite. Se- it's one of my favorite Stephen King books because it's it works so like you have because the whole thing happens in in one room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're getting it, you're getting it from the author's perspective, right? Yes, the author, the character well, who is also an author. Yeah, yeah, you know what I meant. Paul Sheldon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, misery's misery's so fucking good. Yeah, let's go watch that instead. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know how much that would make me, and how happy that would make me. Good lord! No, instead we get a yeah. murder scene at the beach because yeah, they're they're killed uh, by a grunting thing with a with like a machete. It sounds like it's drinking um, a very thick milkshake with a plastic straw. Yeah. It's trying. It's like it's trying to get the bottom of the the, the stuff left over at the bottom of an ice cap. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not scary. No, it's kind of funny. Oh, you think the thing's funny now? Oh boy, <laughs> give it another uh, fucking hour. Sadly. So. <sighs> By the way, yeah, everything we just described is in the first thirty minutes. So everyone in the house gets murdered. Classic. Yeah, everyone. Every- just with the same machete. Yeah, uh, like he's Elizabeth's like, at home. He's Michael Myers levels of boring with his kills in this. Yeah, uh, Robert, like, finds them on the beach, by the way. We also then, get we get occasional shots of the Nyanga just, like, giggling in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Being a weirdo. Yeah, it's... 
I, I guess they're like supposed to make you think, well, maybe he's the killer. No. No. No, he's just kind of there to watch. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's there to watch. Robert ends up in like the sugar cane at some point. I like, mean, the whole I guess if you want to think about it from in legal terms, he is technically the murderer. Yeah. Yes, I guess. In the same way that if you hire an assassin, you're a murderer. Yeah, yeah. You because you you are responsible. Yeah, for sure. Uh... And uh, after uh, you know the bodies get discovered, Robert runs back home. And then everyone starts dying. Yeah, uh, it is just it's fast. It is, yeah, it's really fast. Like like it's not like there's a whole scene inside the house. Like Elizabeth gets chased around a little bit, or so we think. And then she opens up the cellar or the freezer or whatever, and Roberts is dead. <laughs> and like we we get the whole the scene you the scene you'd get in like in Halloween one or in in a Friday yeah. the Thirteenth where she goes and she finds all the corpses around. And it's like, oh, this is like, okay, I guess the movie's almost over. What do you mean there's half an hour left? Yeah, no, there's a, there's like, like the whole looking around the house is a good five minutes. And we, which, it, which it should be that, that this scene should be, given, oh, yeah. like in one of these movies, this scene should be given its time to breathe. But this is the, what goes at the end of a slasher movie. <laughs> yeah, not, uh, you know. The middle. The middle. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she's like she finds Robert dead hanging around in the fucking freezer. Um, Malik comes in with a machete. Yeah, much. and so she, you know, she freaks out and him, pulls a knife like, out on I him. Saw, and he's like, I saw people and they were dead, so I can't. I I heard screaming, so I come got, came got my machete, and everyone's dead. Though it still shoots it like he's the killer, but lying. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's almost as if, and I'm going to be a little cynical here. Um, they didn't actually decide until the end who the actual <laughs> killer was. Like they filmed all of that and they're like, "All right, it's time like for they the were ending. trying to do a clue thing where depend like it's randomized per copy who the killer is." <laughs> but they ran out of money, so they just did all of them. <laughs> and but they left in the scenes that hinted other people being the killer. <laughs> yeah. Like couldn't have a screen, and then Christopher Lee brings us around the house, telling us how the fish man did the crimes. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get to the fucking fish man. Oh, so oh. they get in a car, and then Malech gets his head cut off, just kind of out of nowhere. Yeah, like I think I don't know if he tells her to meet up with him in there, but like she just sees him in the car. She's like, "Oh, take me out of here!" She like brushes his shoulder, and his head just falls off, and she understandably is freaked out. Yeah, that's what decapitation. That's how people react to decapitation. Yeah, of course, of course. You, you even she, harden policemen because like you're not. Oh yeah. It's just not something that's supposed to be that. Yeah. <laughs> so the human head, body head should be there. Yeah, head when head be is a- no longer there, that is not normal. Yeah, head, head should be attached to neck. If it's not like that, human body disagrees. Yeah, uh, so Elizabeth honestly freaked out. She yeah. hops in the car, pushes out the body, and drives to the only reasonable place uh, in the middle of a rainstorm, I think, is happening. Yeah, there's some kind of magic electrical storm. Yeah, uh, she gets her car stuck somehow. Also, um, movie... Malech, when he explained the storm was coming, he described he said the the African word I can't remember, and then called it an electrical storm. That doesn't mean rain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can't not. Uh, yeah, there's like a brief scene of a machete killing a goat. Their goat, presumably, I guess. Yeah, the goat, the stolen goat. Yeah. Uh. Elizabeth grabs a knife that she had on her, which I'm really surprised she remembered to bring, and just walks throughout the sugarcane field to try to reach uh, the old woman's house. She makes it. She does make it. She does make it. We give her that. We give her that. Uh, the fi- the the murderer kills a dog. Yeah, because the dog hears something. Because the so. the dog hops in and heroically saves Elizabeth. Rest in peace, buddy. I mean, you ate a cookie. You ate a chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, you 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 were you were doomed anyway. Yeah, uh, at least you made your last efforts heroic. God bless. Yeah, you saved the woman who killed you, basically. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth makes it to the house. We get a scene of Christopher Lee just shouting to the skies. 
Yeah, it's like he's he's calling down the power of Karatas. <laughs> now, now here's the thing, right? We learn a little bit later that he sacri- he's the one that sacrificed the goat. Yeah. But we don't see him kill the goat. We just see the knife. And then at some point, we just get another cut of Christopher Lee shouting to the heavens. And we haven't seen this man for like a good 30 minutes of the movie. He's like, oh, he's back. Cool. Uh, eh, you know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny how they handled him in this movie. So he, uh, Elizabeth gets to the house. She, They call the doctor. Because she's hurt, and she tells them that everyone out of the house is dead. Yeah, uh, they try to send a little girl up to bed. She fucking refuses. Because it keeps have... happening in the house. But there's more important stuff going on, so they just let that pass. Yeah, uh, Christopher Lee does show up. Yep. Uh, little girl discovers that the dog is dead, and they all bring her inside. And uh, through some logic and reasoning, I guess... They accuse... Uh, uh, Elizabeth acclu- accuses Stephen King, not Stephen King, Christopher Lee. This is Stephen King could write better than this. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, accuses Christopher Lee of being the killer, and it's like, no, I'm not the killer. I'm, Why do you have blood on you? It's like you killed, you killed three or four uh, adults in the prime of life, ma'am. I'm seventy four. <laughs> <laughs> You swung a heavy machete and killed a whole bunch of full-grown adults. I'm a very, very old man. (laughs) How did I manage to do this? I love Christopher Lee as much as the next guy, but yeah, that dude... I highly doubt that this man could take care of the entire... Yeah, he did all the stuff in in Lord of the Rings and in Star Wars, but he was a a wizard and a Jedi, respectively, in those scenarios. Yeah. He had something helping him, you know? So, in th- in this they one, find he, just... he has some blood on his vest. Yeah. And they ask why, even though he is a surgeon, so blood would not be out of the ordinary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we find out he uh, he used to be a bit of a witch doctor, I guess. Yeah, at the very least, he knows how, like, witch doctor stuff works, yeah. so. And that he was, uh, oh no, I'm innocent, the blood's because I sacrificed a goat. Which is still the, the best out of context things that I love. <laughs> Just Christopher <laughs> Lee saying, "I sacrificed a goat." Yeah, every, yeah, that, he, he does that every morning, or did that? Rest in peace. <laughs> oh my God, that's right, he did pass away. He did. Uh, it was this movie? Oof. But obviously, Christopher Lee is not the bad guy. No, he um, turns out that the bad guy. Is at the door right now. Yeah, he's so uh, he knocking. He knocking. Althea grabs and loads a shotgun from the wall. God bless. I honestly, because of how boring and bad this movie was, thought they'd forget they had shotguns. <laughs> nope, the old woman remembered. And they they put two bullets, two shells in the thing, but it's a fishman, which means it's bulletproof, I guess. Even though I can promise you, the creature from the Black Lagoon isn't bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. And this. Fishman is the um, <clears throat> vengeful spirit that lives in the sea. Yeah, see, that is that, is that I'm, line again. I'm assuming. I'm assuming uh, that's what assuming. he is. <laughs> and he, he has a machete, and he looks really, really good. The He's costume a really is good really good. In fact, he looks like the Gill Man from Monster Squad, but yeah. fat. You know, he, he actually, the, the, like the whole costume design looks actually really good. It's just yeah, it looks so good. I know why he wasn't in much of the movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I think in... he was rent. They borrowed him from another another production. They have to bring it back before they realize. Yeah, you know? <laughs> or oh no, they in that case they stole it from yeah. another production. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going with. Um, uh, they he kills people. He kills them. They he. Doesn't actually kill anyone else. Does he kill Christopher Lee? I don't. No, 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 no. Because I'm pretty. No, no. Because he finds the sword at the. End. He finds the machete at the end right. of the beach. Yeah. Um. They. He. They lure him into the sugar cane and set it on fire. The sugar cane, by the way, the shots we have in the sugar cane look almost exactly like the shots from the stand miniseries when they're in the dream cornfield. I gotta watch it. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, 
Is it is I know most of the Stephen King stuff is on YouTube. Is that on there? Or am I sadly screwed in that department? I think you're sadly screwed. You can borrow um you can borrow my DVD. It's fine. All right. Well, or that I'll just find it somewhere. I'm sure. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on Tor- BitTorrent or something. Yeah, I'll find it somewhere online. Anything's gonna be better than this fucking movie. Uh, it's not true. It's just Dull Man was worse. Yeah, true. Yeah, they set the sugar cane on fire, and hooray, the fishman has been defeated. Or has he? I No. No. <laughs> of course not. Just no. So he comes, he shows up again, and how do they finally get rid of him? I wasn't paying attention. Fuck, I, I don't even remember how they get rid of him. Hold on. <laughs> do they, like... I think they just set him on fire again. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, they, they, yeah, because he goes into the shed and he, she like drops gasoline and they just set it on fire again. Guess that the first attack didn't do enough damage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sakes. I, oh I, I was, I, I thought like I missed a scene like where Christopher Lee does the ceremony to send him back, but no, they just, <laughs> no, they just burn just, him. Right, they, like, yeah, they twice. think he's dead, so they, they head into the building and then. She gets attacked by him again, and well, attacked. He just fucking walks into the. Oh, shed. we we do get the shot stolen directly from Halloween, where the fish man flies with the killer is thrown out the wind, killed and thrown out. Yes, he's shot and thrown out the window. Then we cut back there, and it's killer's not there. It's like, yeah, I I know. I just spent a month <laughs> watching the first five Halloween movies. I know this. <laughs> scene. Uh, they set the fish man on fire again, and uh, you know all is well. And for some reason, we get a a. Like, flying shot, not a flying shot, but you know what I mean. Uh, a shot of the beach where Christopher Lee is walking across. And he finds the and machete. And he finds the machete, and he looks around, and then fucking credits roll, and... And... That... Uh, Curse 3, P- Blood Sacrifice Ponga. If you are asking, wait, so what happened? Don't worry, me too. I, I don't know what happened. This I... whole movie was just fucking... They stole a goat, and they shouldn't have done that. That's the moral of the That's movie. That's the moral don't of the movie. Goats. Don't steal goats. Just don't steal goats that don't belong to you. One could also extend it to don't own slaves. That's that's a very good that's a very good moral story as well. Oh, this movie this movie this movie is just painstakingly boring. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. It's like Curse Two was bad, but sure. at least it had Clinger from. From um, Mash, yeah, and it was followable. That, I could least, follow the plot. Yeah, and at least a guy at some point in the movie got his fucking arm turned into a snake. Yeah, this had a fish man, but the fish man, I, this had a cool fish man, and it had Christopher Lee, but neither thing was enough to make the movie good. And they were only in the entire movie for like five minutes. Yeah, it's this could have been better. This could have been a lot better. I can't even say it could have been worse. I don't think it could have. <laughs> I really... I really don't think it could have but, been. But uh, next week we got something special for you. Oh, do We that. haven't seen this man's adventures for some time. It's time Uh-oh. to look once again at the world of trauma films. Oh boy. And the fourth and final in- installment in the adventures... Of Melvin. Ah, oh, trauma spells nothing but something's gonna happen. A sequel to the one good trauma film. The final <laughs> sequel to this one good trauma film. Anyway, I'll see you then. I've been Matt. I've been Matt. See you next time. See ya.